You know, when you blow it, it's important to acknowledge that you've blown it and to uh, uh, let everybody know that you're willing to take that step. So today, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, and at the same time, I'm going to take this opportunity to look into the 2024, uh, my expectations for 2024, and uh, that's kind of how this whole thing started. So this is Randy Kirk. Uh, if you like this kind of content, hit like. If you uh, would like to be notified, hit, uh, you know, you need to subscribe first and then hit notify. And then uh, joining Patreon is always a really, really good thing. It can help to support the channel. All right. What we want to do here is the other day uh, in one of my videos, and then when I was on Brighter with Herbert, I made the same mistake. I said that the 2024 energy profits for Tesla will be the equivalent of the entire profits of Tesla in 2022. Well, that was incorrect. So since I was going to need to make that correction anyway, I thought, you know what, let me go ahead and do the spreadsheet for 2024, because I'm just curious to see where, where uh, Tesla is going and what, because, you know, we're almost halfway through 2023. It's time to start thinking about those things. So let's take a look. So let's start with the auto units. Um, I'm expecting that the grand total for full year uh, 2024 will be 3,185,000 of the SEXY plus the Cybertruck. That does not include the semi. You'll notice I got the semi down here separately. Okay, but 3,185 is the number that I've got in mind uh, for the total sales. Now, how does that uh, compare with the 50% per year thing? Well, it would still be ahead of the statement by Elon, which is 50% per year on average, starting with 500,000 in 2020. It would be about 50% increase over what I'm expecting for this year. It would be well over a 50% increase for the 2 million that Elon has said is the, the kind of the stretch goal. So I don't think that they're gonna only do 2 million this year. Uh, maybe at the end of this, maybe you'd like to go back, we can take a quick look at what my current expectations are for full year 2023. Uh, but uh, this would be roughly in line with a continuing 50% per year increase. All right, how do I come to this? Well, first of all, I come to it because Fremont, if you look down here, Fremont is supposed to be able to do at least 600,000 vehicles. So in quarter one, I put it at 145. Uh, in quarter two, I've got it moving past the 600,000. And then barrel, you know, just a little bit of an increase over the course of the year. This could be completely understated. There's every reason to believe that Tesla intends to get to 700,000 vehicles per year and probably earlier than uh, the end of 2024. So this is probably a little uh, on the uh, a little short of the actuality. Shanghai, which has a run rate, uh, expected run rate of at least 1.2 million. Uh, they have done 87,000, 88,000 last year in 2022. I'm expecting them to be doing in the 80s uh, frequently uh, during this year. Uh, therefore, um, I but I'm still, I'm, I'm going to go with uh, 265 in quarter one, but getting up to 165, which would put them, I'm sorry, uh, uh, getting up to 300, which would be at exactly 1.2. Now, once again, this particular run rate of 1.2 assumes no increase in Shanghai, no increase in China. I mean, it's just, it's it's kind of hard to uh, anticipate that that's going to be true, um, but that's what this chart would suggest. Um, it may be that Shanghai will be getting some improvements and changes that will allow it to go over the 1.2 level. That is certainly something I anticipate, but for now, I'm going to be conservative. I'm going to put it in at exactly, well, as you can see for the total year, only 1.125, but with a run rate at the end of 1.2. Next, you've got Austin. I've got Austin in uh, at a total of 780,000 for the year. Now, Austin now will include the Cybertruck. So it's the Model Y and the Cybertruck. I'm starting them out low at only 140,000 a quarter, slowly ramping up to 260,000, which would be slightly over a million run rate. Um, and that would mean uh, close to a million Model Ys, uh, maybe 850,000, somewhere around there, and a run rate of around 250,000 on the Cybertruck by the end of the year. Um, that means I'm not looking at them making a, a total of 250,000 in 2024 in this analysis. 
that may also be understated. I may also be understating Model Y capacity in uh, in the 2024 uh, year because maybe they'll hit the million run rate on Model Y much earlier, and they might hit the 250,000 run rate and go past that for the Cybertruck. So again, these are conservative numbers. They're certainly not overstating the numbers. I think they're very conservative. Then you get to Berlin. Uh, Berlin, I'm just having them slowly ramping up uh, to where at the end of the year, they're at about, they're, they're moving towards that uh, that uh, million run rate, but not anywhere close to it by the end of the year. All of that combined total gives you a total of 3,185,000. Um, that is my number here at the top. Then as far as the average selling cost, I'm looking at it 48,000. Um, this is assuming that Tesla will be raising prices a little bit as the year progresses. This is assuming, though, that they're going to be selling, um, you know, quite a few of these Model 3 variants that they've been putting in. Um, it may be higher than this. Again, I think I'm being conservative. This number I did miss on uh, earlier this year. Um, uh, it was higher than I expected. Uh, so the 48,000 might be low. I've got it across the year for this 48,000 but it could easily move up with the cyber trucks coming in and probably being at the very high end uh, that could uh, affect it as well. So we could be definitely going back towards 50,000 or even more, uh, but this is a nice and conservative. Total auto, auto revenues, that would be the next line. That's just multiplying uh, the margin. I'm saying it gets back to 23% by the end of 2023, continues at 23 and moves up towards 24 as the year progresses. Again, could be wildly understated at this point. It could definitely be passing 25, uh, but the Cybertruck will have uh, you know certain headwinds in terms of the capital allocation that'll be going into the Cybertrucks. Uh, you'll have uh, continued headwinds uh, with the beginning of the ramp in uh, Mexico that will be affecting this. So overall, I think uh, the 24 for the year is conservative, but um, would be really good. Uh, compared to uh, the 2023 expectations. So uh, all that given, you've got the total auto gross profit, again, just a multiplication. Um, and for the full year, that would be uh, 28.6 billion. Then you get into the energy profits. This is where I messed up. And I said that it would be getting to over 10 billion in 2024. I don't think this is true. So um, I, 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 I gave too much credence to the new Shanghai facility being ramped too fast and did not take into consideration the bookkeeping issues. So no, I'm looking, as you can see here, I'm looking at about 5.7 billion in profits in 2024 for the uh, energy division. Um, this would assume that the ramp is completed in, in or very nearly completed in, uh, in uh, California by the end of this year so that you're getting almost a billion dollars per quarter of profit out of that facility, uh, but that the other ramp would take all year. By the end of the year, you would have uh, uh, both facilities fairly close to being ramped, but not quite. Uh, and you would also continue with these bookkeeping issues. So you can see here that with 2 billion of energy profit in the fourth quarter, you multiply that times four for 2025, you would be at eight uh, with a little bit of continuation of the ramp in 2025 uh, for uh, Shanghai, as well as some of the bookkeeping issues finally catching up. I think you'll be over 10 billion uh, by first quarter. Uh, the run rate will be over 10 billion uh, in the first quarter of 2025. And then assumedly, uh, either Shanghai uh, and or California were, will both continue to ramp and or more likely uh, some other facilities will have been put in place and those will be beginning to add to the total energy profit picture because we would look for a, 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 about a doubling uh, for 2025 uh, again. Um, other profits, I would consider to see these, I would see these continuing to go up. Uh, insurance will certainly be going up. Uh, revenues and, and profits from superchargers will definitely be going up. You'll now have some mega charger profits coming in. You'll have more and more of uh, these uh, software as a service profits coming in from energy storage and, and, and from, uh, from everywhere. Okay, now we're starting to see these utilities. I did a video on this the other day where Tesla now has a bunch of different places where they are now a utility. Profits will start coming in from that. 
I would expect uh, solar to start becoming a profit item rather than a loss. So again, these could be extremely conservative with only a half a billion dollar profit in quarter one, moving up to a billion in quarter four. Uh, that could be extremely, extremely low. Uh, the semi-truck, um, just did a video on this uh, uh, this week. Uh, I have to expect to continue to believe that Elon is not kidding us when he says he plans to build 40 billion, I mean, sorry, <laughs> 40,000, get my power of tens, right? Anyway, <laughs> to be 40,000 semi-trucks in, um, in uh, Reno, in Sparks uh, next year. Um, and uh, up until a couple of days ago, I was like, how is he going to do that? I said it over and over and over again so many times. How is he going to do that when he's not even going to be uh, finishing the new edition in Sparks until first quarter 2024? Well, we figured that out the other day. Um, they're done with energy storage. They're done with mega packs in Reno. That's going to uh, make a big space available. I'm going to guess that they're going to start building the line for the semi trucks in that space and that we will be we will be seeing substantial numbers of semi trucks coming off that line by the end of this year and by quarter one of next year uh, you'll start to see these profits so i'm looking at uh, 300 million dollars in profit in the first quarter moving up to 1.2 billion dollars in profit in the fourth quarter for a total of 3 billion from the semi truck 40,000 that will be built next year according to Elon all right, total profit then comes in at 40.5 billion for the year. Overhead, I've got that increasing slowly throughout the year to a total of 10.7 by uh, for the year. And then uh, that gives a gap of 28.8 billion with the EPS at 8.49. Now then, if you take the 3.35, 3 billion 350,000 of profit in quarter four, and you just multiply that times four, for 2025, you would already be up to 13 plus billion dollars of profit per, I mean, I'm sorry, $13 uh, uh, per share of profit. Um, so uh, at A49 times 50, uh, you'd be looking at 400. At 13, you'd be looking at 700. So now you begin to see where I get my price, my stock price. So right now I've got the stock going up to 300 by the end of the uh, uh, third quarter, uh, assuming that the market begins to improve and also assuming that Tesla executes, which I believe they will, um, I see it then heading towards 400 and maybe hitting 400 by the end of the year, which would be a 50 PE on the forward projected earnings. And then over the course of next year, I see it going to 700 by the end of 2024 because of the projected earnings of 13 and a half. Uh, this is based on just what I've shown you here, lots of these numbers could be low. All right, so that is how I get to my numbers. If you wanna take a quick look over at how I got to my, if you wanna just be reminded how I get to this year's numbers, you can see I'm figuring for 2.158 million uh, vehicles to be manufactured this year. I'm only figuring an average of uh, 45,750 for the year. That's probably low. Total auto revenue, you see it there. The margin, I'm figuring at 21 for the year. It could be much higher, but I'm showing at 23 by the end of the year, but 21 total average, um, giving us 21.4. Energy profits, you see slowly building up to that 1 billion, as we talked about just a minute ago, uh, to where that would give it 2.2 billion. Other profit at one. Uh, total profits at 24.6. Take away overhead at 7.8. You're left with gap of 16.6 .6 billion in profit which would be probably more profit than Ford and General Motors together will make this year. And then the EPS becomes $4.94. So if we do the $4.94 times a PE of uh, 50, uh, you're looking at uh, $250 a share. Uh, so uh, you can see where I'm getting my slow ramp towards 300 based on next year. Should be at 250 now. There's no reason why it isn't 250. I think Gary Black would agree with me is that the stock should be between 235 and 250 right now, but the market is holding it down. The, the, the overall macro, the overall market, the risk off environment, all of that is what's keeping Tesla from being at the price value that it should be at, which should be around 250. Um, and then moving towards 300 and even 400 by the end of the year. Um, and then 700 in 2024. 
So hopefully this was valuable. Show me where I'm wrong. Hit me with the comments. Love your love to read your comments. And then like, uh, uh, notify, subscribe, do all those kind of things. And if you could help me with a little support for the channel, just hit Patreon. That'd be great too. So it's been great talking to you today.